So, what's up, y'all? Um, back with another video, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Um, so I'm just really bored. First of all, I got ready earlier because I thought I would be going out like during the day. And that didn't end up happening, so whatever. But anyway, so I have um, my box full of um, notebooks um, that I used to write like little stories in. I always wanted to be like an author. That's like one of the things that um, when I was growing up that I really wanted to do. I wanted I I always wanted to write a book, and I still do. But, you know, this cat just jumped down like somebody's talking to her. Um, but, you know, as life goes on, you know, you get busier and you kind of put your dreams behind you. But, I don't know, whatever. I thought I'd just read to you a little bit of some of the stuff that I've been, or not that I have been, because this is old. But some of the stuff that um I wrote in the past, because some of it is funny. Like, I have my diary. Um, I don't know if um, any of my followers or my subscribers <laughs> still have their diary. I'm sorry, there's like people talking outside. It's really weird. Um, like, I don't know if you guys still have your diaries, but I still have mine. This is from... Where is this diary from? I... I want to say... I want to say this diary is from Joel and Benji from Good Charlotte. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. No. 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 Anyway, so I had a few boys from school. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six boys from school. And some of them are scratched out because either they pissed me off or they pissed me off. So, whatever. And then on the side, it says, not all. Some have changed since I'm 15 now. Turning 16 in March 2016. Yeah! Exclamation mark. Anyways. So, this is so funny. Um, so, my first entry was December 22nd, 2001. And I said, Dear Diary, this is so funny. This book was given to me by Christina, my sister for Kris Kringle. You know what? I didn't even know that. I forgot. I, for, I, for, I, I, I forgot about that. Your name, oh my God. Your name will no longer be Diary. Your name will be Missy. I hope I was thinking about, um, I hope I was thinking about Missy Elliott because Missy is such... A white name anyways a Caucasian name let me just rephrase that hope you like it because that's what I'm gonna be putting at the top of my pages now I hope to confide in you by trusting you with my words and guarding my words also girl you know how many people have done read this diary already that's a bad hope Anyways, you're going to be my best pal ever because you'll know everything. Soon you'll learn about, ooh, this is a boy that I liked for so many years when I was in middle school. And then um, it was like, I like this boy from middle school. Not even, I like this boy from second grade all the way until freshman high school. Um, a freshman in high school because then I moved away. But I thought I was going to marry this boy. I thought he was going to take me to prom. I I thought this boy was going to be my boyfriend. Um, But whatever. He's still cute now. So I had good taste. I always had good taste. So let me just say that. But anyways, whatever. Uh, okay, so this guy, the, the boy that I liked, I'm going to rename him. I don't really care if he knows or not. It's, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to rename him. I'm going to call him. Um, what am I going to call him? 
I'm going to call him Blue. I'm going to call him Blue. So, okay, so it says, okay, Blue is the boy I've had a crush on since first grade. Okay, since first grade. <laughs> My memory is so bad. Since first grade. Now I'm in sixth grade. So that's been a long time. It has, girl. <laughs> it has, bro. It has, girl. Uh, okay, and he doesn't know I like him. Neither do other people. But my best friend, my best friend TT, <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to change your needs. My best friend TT, oh, but my best friend TT, she's the only one who knows every day why I act shy around him when I'm kind of not, I was really shy. I was like devastatingly shy, especially around this boy, but whatever. Um, back to blue. Okay, so since he's been in every class that I've been in, every time I thought he was flirting with me or just talked to me, I wrote it in my journal, whose name was Hedwig. That's right, I used to have, where is my, I have another journal before this one. It was like, it was a, it was a, I have it somewhere in my closet, but it was a Harry Potter one. So yeah, I have a, I have, I have a, 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 a prequel to this one. This is the sequel. I have a prequel. I have to go find that one and I'll do another video on that one, but whatever. I, I called that one Hedwig. Yeah, I remember that one, but Hedwig is a boy and you're a girl. So you know more of what's, what I'm going through. Girl, this is a book. It's a book, girl. <laughs> Little DD. This is a book. It's not girl boy. It's not girl boy, baby. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Another person. Okay. Going on to, um, I'm going to call him Red. Okay. Going on to Red. This is another boy that I used to like. He was in an older, he was in, I was in sixth grade and he was in eighth grade. Um, okay, going on to Red. Red is a boy in 8th grade that I like, and he knows that because in lunchroom, we got to finally talk and eat our food. So since the 8th grade got their rings for graduation, the day after this happened, my friend asked Claudio Guzman. <laughs> oh, shit. I used to go to a Catholic school, and when you graduated from the Catholic school in eighth grade, you got um, you got like a ring. So in the ring, and as this is actually the rings that we used to get. This was my ring. So that's the ring. I graduated in oh, 2004 from the school. But whatever. So when you got the ring, when you were in when you were in eighth grade and you got the ring, like during lunchtime or whatever time, you would like go around and people would twist your ring, and then they'd give you a kiss. So that was like a really big thing back then because if you had a crush on somebody, you was you was like, yes, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that freaking kiss that I've been waiting for finally, yes. But anyway, whatever. Since y'all already know the name, is it's not a really big deal. I don't even know what he is right now. It's not a big deal. This is like so long ago. Anyways. Anyways. Where was I? The boy I liked. If I could twist. My friend, she trifling. Why is my friend asking if I could twist somebody's ring and give him a kiss? Oh my gosh. If I could um, twist his ring so I could give. So he could give me a kiss on my cheek and he say yes. <laughs> so my dream came true. Now, every day when I go to school, I look for him. Yeah, I know you do, girl. To just see his soft, cute little face. He was like this little, he was like this little soft thing. Like, I found him so cute. He had like the straightest hair. It was like so cute, but whatever. <laughs> soft, cute little face. That's it. That's all about the two boys I like. Liv, Diana. Girl. Mm. Okay. December. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna read this one. And then I'm gonna like skip ahead. Damn, I have a lot of pages that I wrote in. But anyways, so this is, um, I got this, okay, this is the next day, December 23rd, 2001. I was 11 years old. Hi, Missy. I really don't have anything to say to you because nothing, nothing exciting has happened yet. Yeah, just like my day, nothing exciting happened today. Much like my life. So, uh, um, yeah, be, uh, what? Since, of course, I haven't been in school since in winter recess. <laughs> yes, you know the winter recesses in New York. Hello. Mm. When I do go to school, my hair is going to be done because I am tired of looking like a bum. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> hey, I'm throwing shade at my own self back in the day. Wow. This goes like, I love my curly hair right now. It takes a lot of work. But I like my curly hair. I wish I would have loved my curly hair back then because I had so much hair. My hair was so thick and I had so much of it. It was really cute, but I just never, I couldn't accept my hair at that time. When I went to high school, there was a different story. Like, I had my hair curly all the time. But back then, like, looking at all these other, you know, usually, like, the Puerto Rican girls with the straight hair or, like, the Dominicanas that look like, um, Dominicanas that look India. They look like they're Indian because their, their complexion is so so smooth and so brown and then their hair is like just jet black and I I always just like stare I was like obsessed with hair back then um and I just didn't love my own which I wish I really did love it but whatever with my daughter now I'm like you have the most beautiful hair even though it looks crazy sometimes I'm like your hair is beautiful and her dad sometimes he's like well I'm gonna take it to the salon so they can straighten it I'm like no she needs to learn how to love her hair but whatever so winter recess blah blah, blah. Uh, looking like a bum and i want um <laughs> i'm about to say these, these these fools names again i want um blue which is my long time crush and red the guy that you i already slipped the beans on the name anyway to talk to me and i put in quotations and an exclamation mark, please! <laughs> and I did a little smiley face with a crying, crying. <laughs> I just picture a crying emoji. That's what I have. That's what I have on the side. Missy, if you have magical powers, please let my hair come out. Ah, <laughs> oh, baby. Little did I know that my hair was going to come out very greasy because... Um, back in the day. Huh. Anyways, for once in a lifetime, I just get jealous. You see right there, I just get jealous when I see other girls with their nice, strong, oh, not nice, strong, with their nice, straight hair. It just gets me mad. I know, girl, right? I know, but sooner or later, you're going to accept yourself, girl. Just hold on. Hold on, baby girl. Mm. Anyways, oh, and tomorrow, I'm going to my godmother's Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm going to my godmother's house. I am so scared. Oh. I can't believe that I just wrote this. Why did I write this? I put, I am so scared because she got liposuction to get skinny. Diana, why are you doing this? Okay, so I'm moving on to when I actually go to the house. All right. Dear Missy, I just came back from a family party. Now my two sisters are jealous because I have $50 and they don't. Oh, well, I'm the godmother, not them. Your friend, Diana. And I have a picture of myself doing the shmoney dance. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't stand myself. Ugh. Lord. 
Okay, this is gonna be the last one that I'm gonna read. And then I'm gonna move on to like something else. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, this is like running 18 minutes, so I gotta cut it quick and short. Anyways, so this is um, January 24th, 2002. And I, and I said, today on the bus, today on the bus m made me nervous? What did I write? It says, today on the bus made me nervous. I don't know why I wrote it like that. Blue talked to me and touched my hand, but I pulled away. I don't know why. It just felt weird, him touching my hand. I tried to do the best I could by answering him, um, but looking at him made me nauseous. Girl, what's up with you? <laughs> so confused now i gotta read the next one so that was january 24 2012 i'm 12 uh, 2012 2002 i'm 12 years old january 25th 2002 on the bus all blue asks for is how is christina doing is she in college why doesn't he ask something else for a change his voice is changing so deep and he's making me melt <laughs> I just hope that when I go to high school, he's single. Yes, girl. <laughs> he's single and says yes if I get his phone number to ask him if he could take me to my to the prom. Damn, I was thinking so ahead in the future. Go, girl. I had goals. I had goals back then. I had goals to the prom. I hope so. Oh, my cute little blue. Ah. Then I drew something, and it says, blue, oh, blue, I dream when I look at him. Okay, so January 28th, 2002. Dear Missy, today after I got off the bus, blue waved at me, but since I'm so stupid and since I was scared that Poppy... <laughs> you know what? This is what I'm telling you. Back in the day when you had Dominican dad, you ain't looking at no boys. They don't play that shit. I was terrified to talk to boys. I had no boyfriend ever until I was like, what? In my 20s? Never. Because a Dominican dad will have you shook. Oh my gosh. Y'all thought I was playing. I always tell this to my friend. She don't listen to me. Anyways. I was scared that Poppy was going to see me wave at a boy. Yeah, girl. Don't be waving at the boys. It didn't. Oh, I didn't. No, let me go back. I didn't. And he did it too fast. And right when the bus was leaving. Oh, and right when the bus was leaving. Oh, I can't read. Like, what the hell? Well, me and Blue are making progress. Yeah, girl. Y'all making progress. <laughs> Well, just me, because I was too shy to talk to him before. But now, when he asks me something, I answer. Girl, you making progress. And damn Jay for having nice straight hair. There you go. I've always been this way. Let me just say that. January 30th. Today, when I was about to get off the bus, I hit blue on his hand with my elbow. I felt so bad and said sorry like one million times. Now I feel like he thinks I did it on purpose, which I didn't. I hate me. Plus, my principal and... M what? Oh, I hate me. Plus, my pimple and my hair. I wish I could just... I wish I could be pretty. So Blue could talk to me more, especially in 8th grade. Your friend, Diana D. Girl, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. That makes me sad. February 6, 2002. For the past two days, Blue keeps on asking me if I want to go out with... <laughs> what? <laughs> 
if I want to go out with, I'm going to put his name Jack. If I want to go out with Jack and I say no because I don't like him, I like Blue. I wish Blue could ask me if I wanted to go out with him, but no. Bye-bye. Blue is so cute and so funny. I like him so much. When I stare into his eyes, he makes me melt. Ooh. Ooh, this one don't got a date. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so this is between February 6th and February 12th of 2002. So it says, this is the last one I'm going to read. It says, today, like about two miles away from my stop, guess what? Blue asked me. Why am I reading like this? Let me read again. Um, okay, today, like about two miles away from my stop, guess what? Blue asked me. He asked, why don't I like him as a friend and why I always push him away? I didn't say anything for a while when I just said I do like you as a friend. Then he said, then why do you always push me away? And I said, because I guess he knew right there that I like him. If only I knew that he likes me, I would tell him. But I can't because I don't know that yet. I just wish I could tell him why I can't go out with, with um, Jack if he really likes me. But I can't. I'm going to wait till 8th grade to tell him. Your friend, Diana. Oh my god, y'all. Okay, yeah. So that's going to be the last one. So, I... Oh my gosh. When I tell you, like, I really loved this boy, like, I really... I really loved this boy. And some of the stuff that I write in here... That's why I think, like, it's so dope to have... A journal or a diary. Because when you're younger... Without your parents looking through it, okay? Because some of this shit is embarrassing. But, I mean, you not knowing that your parents are looking through it. Because um, sometimes parents do need to go through it to see, you know, what their kids are going through. But whatever. I think it's pretty dope to have a journal as a kid. Because when you grow up, you get to look back and you get to read everything. And you get to, like, remember points of time in your life that you know now kids get to document it with their with their with their phones but we didn't have that back then we had to write this shit down and I'm so happy that I wrote this down because I first off I have a bad memory and two like I used to write like I used to write I have notebooks of stuff that I used to write and I just don't write anymore but I find it like I just want to go back in time and I want to hug this little girl that's like, I, w I, I used to cry for this boy. I, I, I used to cry for this boy. Like, I used to feel so deeply for this boy. Like, I know her pain. Like, it makes me want to cry, like, right now. But I, I know this little girl's pain because, you know, back then when you're a kid, like, and you're in school, whatever... Like all the, like, like the culture in like the classroom or in like middle school is like the, uh, not me, but like the other girls, not all of them, but the other girls, like they have crushes and, you know, they have like boyfriends and all of that stuff. And, you know, they used to play, like, booty tag in, in, in the classroom or at gym and stuff like that. And they had their little boyfriends and their little girlfriends. And they would hop from, like, one, uh, one to the next one to the next one. And just me, me personally, and my friend, like, she was my best friend back then. Um, but not speaking about her because she was a good girl, too. But just speaking for me, like... I didn't, even though I have like this list in the front of all these boys that I liked, because I have a few boys from school, but there was like nobody that compared to this one boy. Nobody. 
Like, I was, like, so invested in this boy. Like, so invested. And I, I like, so, I, like, planned our future. And I so wanted him to like me. And for that to be, like, the last page that I read, it just makes me... It just makes me, re like, remember so much of those feelings. Like, I feel like your first crush is, like, to me, besides the the love of my child, I feel like that boy was, like, the, pu the purest form of love that I've ever felt. Because it's, like, I, I was a child. It's, like, the love of a child for another child. That's, like, besides having your kids... That's like the purest, purest love that I think that I will ever feel. I love that boy so much. But, I don't know. And don't hurt that he's still good looking today. Things happen. But, another thing that I want to say, like, little boys, little girls, just don't ever think that you're ugly. Don't ever think that you're not good enough. Don't ever think that, you know, somebody's not going to like you for how you are. I wish I could go back in time and tell that little girl that everything's going to be okay because she's beautiful, to love her hair and all of that stuff. But whatever, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and hopefully I can make another one soon. So peace out.